Welcome to Acunetics Web Vulnerability Scanner. In this guide, I will show you how to scan your website, analyze the scan results, and create a report. There are two ways to start a scan using Acunetics. The quick method is to change to Web Scanner. Enter the URL to scan in the Start URL box, select the scanning profile to be used, and click Start. This can be used for fast scans. The second method is to use Scan Wizard which allows greater granularity in the scanning options. I will use the scan wizard to explain some of these options. Start by clicking the new scan button located on the top left. This will open the scan wizard. First, enter the URL of the website you wish to scan. In this case, I will scan a test site hosted by Akinetics, testphp.vulnweb.com. Click Next when ready. It's time to select a scanning profile. Scanning profiles are simple templates which include or exclude specific vulnerability tests. So, for instance, if you would like to only scan for cross-site scripting vulnerabilities, you would choose the XSS profile. However, for this demonstration, I am selecting the default profile, which includes all the vulnerability checks. You can also fine tune the scan settings. However, the default setting can be used in most situations. Click Next to proceed. The wizard will then make an initial analysis of the web application. At this stage, Acunetics will try to identify the web server, operating system, and web technologies used by the site. Acunetics will exclude any vulnerability checks which are not relevant. This helps improve the scan performance and reduces the overall scan time. Most web applications have a restricted area which requires user login and which often needs to be scanned too. For simple web applications, you can choose to use the automatic forms authentication. In this case, Acunetics Web Vulnerability Scanner will try to automatically detect the login form and the logout links. For more complex web applications, you will need to create a login sequence for the site. You will first need to browse to the login page of the site enter your credentials, and log into the restricted area. You can replay the login actions to make sure that the steps you have recorded are correct. The scanner will make use of the same login credentials during the scan. Click Next when ready. You will now need to define any restricted actions. These actions are buttons or hyperlinks, which should not be followed during the scan. These include logout links, or any other functionality links such as delete user or send email. In this case, I'm going to select the logout link since I do not want Acunetics to log itself out during the scan. The login sequence wizard will intercept HTTP requests and will ask to confirm the action to be restricted. Wildcards can also be used for the session identifiers, CSRF tokens, nonces, and other one-time tokens. Choose to restrict the request and click Next. Acunetics requires a valid session in order to scan the restricted area. Because of this, Acunetics needs a way to identify if the session being used is still valid. The login sequence recorder can try to auto-detect the method, which the scanner can use to validate the session. When a pattern is successfully detected, you can click the OK button. Click Finish when ready. This will open a prompt to save the newly created login sequence. Once the login sequence is saved, you'll be taken back to the scan wizard with the new login sequence file automatically selected. In the final stage of the scan wizard, Acunetics will perform some additional checks and will ask you to confirm some site-specific settings. Click Finish to start the scan. Acunetics will proceed to crawling the site, identifying all the pages, forms, and inputs. Acunetics will then scan the pages and inputs detected for vulnerabilities. You can review the progress of the scan by clicking on the Scan Thread node. The scan progress will be shown on the right. During the scan, Acunetics will display the vulnerabilities as they are being detected. You can start reviewing these while Acunetics completes the scan. Now that the scan is complete, let us have a closer look at some of the vulnerabilities. The vulnerabilities detected are given a classification to indicate the severity of the vulnerability. This ranges from high to informational. Let's expand the cross-site scripting node and select the file or input where this has been detected. 
Acunetic shows the dynamics of the test performed to discover the flaw, including the HTTP headers exchanged during the test, additional attack details, and payload used. You can also perform manual checks with the inbuilt HTTP editor. Acunetics also provides additional information on the vulnerability, remediation advice, and additional web references for each vulnerability. Apart from web vulnerabilities, Acunetics Web Vulnerability Scanner reports additional information detected during the scan. For example, you can review the email addresses found on the website. These can be harvested from the site for spam purposes. Another example is the list of internal IP addresses being publicly displayed. After analyzing the scan results, you can use Acunetics Reporter to generate reports using one of many compliance, technical, and management templates available. So let's go ahead and generate a PCI compliance report. From the list of report templates, I will select Compliance Report and launch the report wizard. I can now select PCI version 3.0. Then I will choose Today's Scan and fire off the report generator. You can also generate highly detailed reports for developers to fix vulnerabilities or an executive report to provide to management. That brings us to the end of this quick start guide. Remember that more help is available at www.acunetics.com forward slash support. Our support team are also available to answer your queries and can be reached at support at acunetics.com. Thank you for your time.